Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, we are doing a full face of TikTok makeup that is actually worth the hype. I feel like over the last few years with TikTok especially, like there are so many products now that even I can't keep up and this is literally my job. So I've been doing my thing over the last few months and every single product that I'm showing you guys today is 100% worth the hype. There's no ifs, there's no buts with it, like they're just good, that's it. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing I wanna talk about is part of a sponsorship. You guys know I've used the mask canal for months and months and this is also a product that you guys may have seen either on this channel here, because I do work with them a lot, or on TikTok. And yes, I am working with them today, but I promise you this stuff is worth the hype. So if you've been living under a bit of a rock recently, how's that been going for you? You may not have heard about Dermatica, but I have spoken about them quite a lot. Basically, Dermatica create personalized skincare routines for your skin. So this is for my skin, your one will be for your skin. And honestly, this stuff works. I feel like there are so many skincare products on the market these days that it's actually kind of a bit of a minefield. But Dermatica is literally so easy. You only use it once every evening after all your other products and it contains ingredients that are specific for your skin. So you're not gonna get anything you don't need. You're not gonna mix ingredients that maybe shouldn't be together. This is pretty much all you need for a banging skincare routine because that is literally what it's designed to do. So if you're new to the whole Dermatica scene, then all you basically do is go onto the website, which will be linked down below. You put in some details about your skin. I don't know, maybe you have hyperpigmentation, dryness, maybe you're worrying about aging. You just tell the team about your skin, send over a couple of pictures of how your skin is looking, and they will go ahead and start making your own product. And I know what you're probably thinking, because I thought the same thing, like surely that's gonna be like the most expensive thing that only like the crazy wealthy and celebrities can do. But this bottle, here will literally cost you £2.90, which is actually less than what this coffee cost me. One coffee, a whole month of skincare, personalized skincare, not just any skincare. I already know that loads of you have tried Dermatica on my recommendation, and so many of you say that you love it and that it's changed your skin, but if you are on the fence, I have got a pretty exclusive discount code for you, so if you use the code STEPH, that's me. You'll get your first month for £2.90 and then, this is the cool bit, I don't really ever see anyone else getting this, for the next month you will get 15% off and then the next month after that you'll get another 15% off. So you can really give this a good go because let's face it, skincare is one of those things that you don't often see immediate results which is why I've managed to get an extra discount from them. So you can try your first month for less than £3 which is still madness to me and then you get discounts on the next two times as well so you can really get a feel for whether or not you like Dermatica, whether or not you're the changes that you want to in your skin, which I'm sure you will. And if you sign up now, by February, you could have the best skin of your life. Like go into 2023 with a bang. How are we going into 2023? I still feel like it's like 2007. But yes, my friends, you know I only promote products that I love. That's why you guys will have seen me talk about Dermatica quite a few times now because I do genuinely swear by it. So if you guys do wanna check it out, all the links and the discount codes and everything like that will be listed down below in the description box. I mean, we all know that good makeup starts off with a good base. So if you guys do wanna try it, Dermatica for yourself, click the link down below and check it out and make sure you take advantage of that code because I literally don't see anyone with that. So uh, if you were on the fence, get off it and make use of that code. As always, Dermatica, I love you. Thank you for sponsoring that portion of the video. Uh, let's do some makeup, shall we? Let's go. Woo! Oh, I am ready for this. So the first product I'm using today is my all-time fave Refi Brow Sculpt. Now, I talk about this quite a lot, but normally when I use this, I've like done my brows before I come on camera, so I'm gonna show you guys it today. I really rate a lot of the Refi products, but this, if you are looking for like one product from Refi, this is it. So yeah, this is the brow sculpt. And as you can see, it goes on kind of white. And people always ask me how I get rid of the white residue. I don't really tend to find that I get too much from it. Like also you can see, I've got a little bit of residue in my brows right now, but I basically just keep going through it with the products, just like so. And I kind of get them in the exact position I want them to be. So I just brush them up a bit. I kind of just brush them up at like a 45 degree angle. I feel like if you go like straight up, you can, but if I go straight up, I end up looking like this and I'm not sure that's the look I'm going for right now. So I brush them at kind of like a 45 degree angle. And maybe you guys can see there is a tiny little bit of white residue there, but what I always do, because if you guys have seen my brows, like they literally just like fly all over the place. Like sometimes if I'm not using something like this and the wind catches my eyebrows, they genuinely just like fly all over my face. So I always just take a finger 
and just lightly kind of like just press it in a little bit as I go along. And then I go in with this guy here. I didn't even know for ages that this had a brush on the end of it. it took me ages and then one day I accidentally pulled it and I was like, what is this? So I like to use this side of the brush. You can see it's got a little bit of, a little bit of product on there. Just wipe it off and then wipe it on my trousers. But yeah, I like to use the bigger brush side and I very firmly just kind of sculpt them back into place. And you can see it just separates them enough so they're not gonna to look too blocky. It doesn't lift up the product or anything either because I am just doing it very, very firmly. I'm not doing like little brushing mo motions like I would with the spoolie. I'm just kind of like gliding through it. And that's how I do my brows literally every single day and it does not budge. But yeah, I'm gonna be saying this about a lot of the products because that's kind of the point of the video, but this is 110% worth the hype. Like I was running low on this the other day and I was like, I have to buy more because I cannot cope without this stuff. Cannot cope, it's maybe a little bit, little bit dramatic, but I'm, I'm, I'm going there, I can't cope without it. So now I'm gonna go in with this guy here. If you haven't seen this trending on TikTok, where have you been, my friend? So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It is 100% a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I'm gonna pop some of that on my cheekbones. Basically everywhere I tend to put highlighter, but I also like to do a little bit on my chin as well. This one has a massive, massive doe foot and I'm using shade two. And I'm gonna blend that in with my Coco Cosmetic Sponge, which is another product that is very, very hyped up on TikTok. But I'm literally, we need to do like a drinking game or something. Uh, this is again, 100% worth the hype. These are literally, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, the best sponges I've ever used. Like beauty blender sponges are great. These are still better. Um, do you guys remember years ago, I had that Sport FX, like red, kind of like triangly sponge. I used to really, really like that one. This one's better. Real Techniques, this one's better. Like I've, I've been around the block a few times with sponges and this is 100% like one of the best sponges I've ever tried. I'm trying to think of something that even comes close to it, but honestly, it's like the softest sponge. This one is massive. They hold moisture really, really well. So they don't like get all like dried out and everything after like a few minutes of using them. They actually retain their moisture. But yeah, you can see that that Halo Glow stuff has just given me the nicest shine on my skin. Like you can wear this on your skin on its own. You can wear it as a highlighter. It's just stunning. So now I'm going in with probably one of the most viral products that I'm gonna feature in today's video, and it is the Be Perfect Foundation. So this is called the Chroma Cover Foundation. I have this in the shade N5. I used this a while ago, uh, hoping the color will be all right. It might be a little bit too deep, but I'm gonna even that out with concealer in a second. But this foundation, when I tell you, you need the tiniest amount, like take a small amount and then use less than that because you really do not need a lot of this. Like this is probably too much. I think this might be a little bit too dark for me, but we'll make it work. If you guys like Estee Lauder Double Wear, this is better. It's not as cakey. I mean, you can see, I have a little bit of redness around my nose and that's just gone. I'm not gonna do any under my eyes because I am gonna use a concealer in a second. So I'm just gonna put this around the rest of my face. And a lot of the time with these products, we all know what TikTok shop's like. It's a dangerous place to go. A great place to go, but ridiculously dangerous because you get so many different like coupons and vouchers and then there's like flash sales and stuff like that. You can almost always get these products on some sort of offer. Like I feel like at one point, Be Perfect was selling this foundation for like 10 pounds or something. So if you guys do have TikTok, or to be honest, even if you don't, because I know some people aren't quite on the TikTok hype just yet. I mean, I know it took me a long enough time, but if you get it just for TikTok shop, just so you can get the discounts and everything like that, it is so, so worth it. And if you do get it, feel free to just like go and follow me. I'll link that down below as well, like casual little plug there. Um, but if you do get it for that purpose, I would love it if you followed me. That'd be really, really nice. But also do it to take advantage of the offers because that is literally one of the craziest things that TikTok's been doing recently. So now I'm gonna go in with the HMB concealer here. Now this actually took me a while to like fully get on board with. I liked it when I first tried it, but I was still using like my ABH, everything like that. Now I am fully, fully converted. So again, you don't need a lot of this. And I really need to get my hands on Holly's new foundation. I went to get it the other day and all of the colors that would suit me were out of stock. So I might get like a slightly deeper one 
and a lighter one and see if I can mix the two together or something because I really, really want to try it. It just blends out so quickly. And it just, it's full coverage, but again, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look dry, doesn't look oily. It's just a nice balance in the middle. This is one of those concealers as well that I will just use with like a bit of moisturizer on my skin, just to kind of balance anything out. Like if I'm just rushing out, but I look like crap, I'll just put a little bit of this under my eyes or cover up any spots or whatever. You can go like full glam with it or you can just use it really, really sparingly and create like a nice little natural base. Love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna use one of my most favorite products that I ever discovered on TikTok shop. So this is the BFF Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting. And I got this in the shade Buttercream. Now I'm not gonna use too much again because my foundation was airing on the edge of being slightly too dark for me, but I just wanna show you guys what this is like. You literally get so much product as well. People go mad at Pink Honey on their socials because they're always showing them like scooping it out, but you literally get so so much. And I think this is probably the nicest cream bronzer I have ever tried, like period. That's it, that's the end of the sentence. I'm just gonna bring that around here and then I'm just gonna blend that in with my sponge. It's honestly so, so good. It blends out so quickly and I really, really like this color on me as well. A little bit of nose contouring with it. I actually really, really like this for nose contouring. So I'm just gonna roughly Go down the sides of my nose there. Yeah, this is 100% one of the best products I ever discovered on TikTok shop. Like if I had to pick, no, I can't. I was gonna say if I had to pick like my favorite products, but I can't, there's too many of my favorites here, but this, if you can get your hands on it, cause it's almost always sold out, get it. Cause you just, just trust me, get it. I'm now gonna go in with some blush now. I don't know if I can get away, I'm gonna try it. Uh, with a little bit of my blush bronzed. So I'm using this in the shade Shady Business. And I'm just using this to basically show you guys what it can do. I'm sure you've all seen all the hype about blush. And when I first tried blush, I didn't completely get the hype. I was like, okay, yeah, nice, like pigmented, cool product. But the way I do my makeup these days, I just love it. Like I actually really, really love a cream blusher and bronzer these days. Yeah, really, really love that color just for a little bit of bronzer. I'm now gonna go in with the shade Sweet Cheeks from just like the original blush. And this, <sighs> did you ever think you would see me applying that intense of a blush? But look how stunning it is when you blend it out. It's just the most stunning. It's kind of like that Kylie Jenner Dior blush sort of color that everyone's been going mad for that I still haven't tried, but from what I can tell, it does look very, very similar in terms of color. But look, like you would never think that that color on my cheeks, very natural, very pretty. I've actually not used all of these products together. So it's interesting to see them all together on my face. And so far it's a big thumbs up from me. So now I'm going in with another HMB product. So this is their loose powder. And again, so many people talk about this. That's why it's in this video. I'm inhaling a little bit. I've got it in the shade 02 translucent. And I'm gonna take it on my Trigwell Puff, which again, everyone talks about. So I'm just taking a tiny little bit of powder, like literally the tiniest amount. I pat it on the back of my hand to take off any excess. And this puff just gets into all the little crevices, just makes it look bloody flawless. When I first tried this, I was like, oh, maybe that's a bit too matte for me, but it actually almost like sinks into your makeup a bit more over time. So it looks a lot better. Like by the time you finish your makeup, it will look even better. Mm. That's a good mm. Now I'm gonna go in with this guy here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is bougie, this is expensive. And I wasn't sure if this color was gonna really work for me. It's the Pillow Talk Beauty Wand uh, in the shade medium. But actually, I really did kind of love it when I first tried it. So as you guys can see, if I just get some of the product to come out, it looks like this, which looks pretty dark for me, but I kind of like to use it as a bit more of like a blush topper. So I'm gonna take some dots of that like Sue, and then pat that in with my sponge again. And this just gives the nicest little wet look finish, but it also kind of adds like a slight little bronziness to it as well. Obviously they do other colors. I really, really love the, it was like the like vibrating my face then. They did like more of like a champagne color. I forget what it's called, but I really, really like that one. 
But yeah, this is the one that loads of people seem to talk about. And yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it at first, but uh, I really, really do. It's so nice. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm now gonna go in with my favorite setting spray. Again, loads of people talk about this. I don't need to go into this too much because you already know. Blah, 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 blah. I can't even speak apparently. Urban Decay All Nighter, the best. Always will be the best. I, I challenge you to find me a better setting spray than the Urban Decay All Nighter. Try it, don't think it can happen. So a couple of spritz of that. By a couple, I mean like 72. I'm now gonna go in with this guy here. Now, some of you may not have heard of this. It's the Plump It Lip Plumper. And let me tell you, this is the most insane lip plumper I have ever tried in my entire life. Like the Too Faced Lip Injection doesn't come close to this. All the other ones, no, this is like the most intense, the most painful. Like if, you, if you're expecting to try this and not feel like your lips are gonna fall off your face, um, you might wanna change your expectations because this is honestly like, it hurts, just saying. It's like, it's already hurting. So this is worth the hype. If you want something that actually does plump your lips, uh, this does that. If you want something that's comfortable, this doesn't do that. But yeah, you guys will see in a second just how like angry my lips will get. I'm now gonna go in with a palette that I'm very, very excited for. This is May's palette in collaboration with Glisten Cosmetics. Now I was just gonna use some of the other Glisten liners that I've used that I bloody love. But I figured we could try out this palette today. I know that Glisten Cosmetics liners are, oh my God, they are the best. They are so, so good. Sometimes you can get liners like this that maybe are a little bit more sheer. You have to kind of build them up. They can crack a little bit. These are insane. So I thought I would try out May's new palette, some of her new colors. This orange is just like calling my name a little bit. So I'm gonna do a bit of a graphic liner, but first, I'm gonna go in with a classic, the P. Louise Base, which is still one of my faves to this day. I use this all the time and I've barely even made a dent on this tube. So I'm just gonna buff that into my lid just to blank it out. And then I'll probably set that down just cause I'm not doing anything like eyeshadowy today. And I am gonna add a tiny little bit of my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer just into my crease, just cause I feel like if I don't do that, I just have a bit of a naked mole rat face. So now let's go on with this. I'm so excited. So what should we do? I'm thinking, I'm actually kind of thinking I'll use the orange and then go into the pink. So they collaborated with May and Wendy's World and they have brought out some new brushes. And I am so stoked about these because I've seen them in action on May's Instagram and May's TikTok. And if you guys don't follow May, she's incredible and Wendy. But yeah, look at these liner pens. They've got like a little dotting tool on one side and you've got the skinny little brush on the other. I typically use, not necessarily this one because this one's a little bit all over the place, but I'll actually typically use paint brushes. These are already so much better. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my setting spray and just spray some of that into the pan and pick up some of that product. I don't want it to be too watery or anything. I always get so nervous when I do this because I'm so shaky. It's probably not like coffee. Oh my God, this brush is incredible. What? My other silly little paint brushes that serve me well. These are better, I can instantly tell. I feel like May now, like the way she just does like freaking instant flick. Oh my God, I actually feel like a wizard. And I'm gonna overlap a bit of what I just did because I want it to kind of be like an ombre. Holy shit, that's a nice pink color. Wow. Oh my God, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do some dots. Okay, I'm gonna take, oh my God. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I'm just picking up some of that product and I'm gonna do a dot. Uh -uh. It works. Why am I so fascinated by this? Where has this been my whole life? Don't know what I'm creating right now, but I'm enjoying it. That's kind of cute. Okay, yeah, I knew I loved Glisten Cosmetics anyway. But these colors, May, you did a bloody good job with this. Okay, so I'm not gonna do mascara today because I wanna bring back these bad boys. False scara, why have I stopped using it? Question, because I, I don't have the answer. This stuff is dope. So I've got a new one, which I'm very excited to use. I first tried this 
couple of years ago now and it's really, really good. I could never get on board with putting my lashes underneath my natural lashes, but I can when it comes to Falscara and I'll show you guys why. So you have the bond and the seal and you get these little lashes to go along with it as well. Basically, you just take the bond, which is kind of like a really, really sticky mascara. So hopefully you guys will be able to see it more in the macro. So you basically brush this as you would like a normal mascara, but you don't need too much of it. I'm so excited to use this again because I flipping loved this stuff. And then I'm just gonna take one of these clusters and then you just shove it underneath there and just get it in place. And then you just repeat. And these stay on so well, dude. And then to make sure that they stay on, you use the sealant, which basically just stops everything from being sticky. So you just brush that through and it will literally just stay on your lashes. They're not going anywhere at all. This stuff's dope. Right, last but not least, I'm gonna move on to my lips. And I know I said the best product from Refai is the Brow Sculpt. This one comes in at a very, very close second. So this is called their Lip Sculpt and it's basically a liner and then with like a sealer in it. This one's in the shade Blush. And for starters, it's just a really good lip liner. So I'm just gonna line our lips with that. So now my lips are lined and this lip liner on its own is just really, really good. Doesn't seem to smudge or budge or anything like that. But if you want it to be completely smudge and budge proof, you can use this stuff. I don't know what the stuff is, but it's something that keeps your lips in place. So I don't need all of that product. It's kind of like a, almost like professional, like kind of texture, but I put this on my lips all over and it's not glossy or anything, which I like because I've tried out the like other sort of lip products that makes your lips stay. What am I saying here? It keeps your lipstick and lip liner on, but it's glossy and I'm not normally into that. But this just gives you like a really nice kind of like satin finish. It's completely clear as well. So it's not gonna change the color of your liner. I'm gonna try this with other liners actually, like just like some other brands and see if it works well as well. But yeah, that'll eventually dry down a little bit. You can, Pat it in a little bit if you want to. So I'm now gonna go and do my other eyeball. I think I'm also gonna highlight my brow bone and my inner corner a little bit, just like a standard powder highlighter. And I'll show you guys the finished look. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Very happy with it. Nice little graphic liner moment. Full glam on the cheeks. Just really like it. Just really, really like how this all turned out. Love the base, absolutely love everything together. And uh, yeah, those are some of my favorite products from TikTok that are 100% worth the hype and your monies. And obviously like, this isn't like an ad for TikTok or anything, but if you do want to get discounts, just download TikTok. You don't even have to bloody use it. Just download it, get the vouchers, get the discounts that they usually have. And you can normally save a whole bunch of money on products like this. So guys, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I'm actually going to get my wisdom tooth taken out in a minute. So uh, that's gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Don't forget guys, if you do wanna check out Dermatica for yourself, all the details and the links and everything will be down below. And you'll be able to get your first month of Dermatica this little guy here, your personalized skincare routine for just two pounds 90, which is madness, cheaper than most things these days. And then you'll also get 15% off your next month and 15% off the month after that if you use the code Steph, which is me. So make sure you guys check it out if you wanna amp up your skincare routine. This stuff is honestly dope. I work with Dermatica all the time and they're worth it. 100%, really, really good stuff. So yeah, guys, I'll leave a link to all the products, including Dermatica, down below in the description box. Wish me luck, because um, I'm probably gonna be looking like a chipmunk for the next few days. Uh, so yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, because I'm probably gonna post some things when I've got a big, fat, swollen face, so that'll be fun. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me, because I upload all the damn time. And let me know if there's like any other products you guys want me to try out, or if there's anything you wanna know about, because I feel like I've tried out a lot of the TikTok sort of viral products these days. And yeah, I'm gonna go and get a tooth pulled out of my head now. Great way to spend my afternoon. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I love ya, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.